Today, I'm going to take you with me while I replace the blade engagement belt on my Toro Time Master 30 inch. Um, this will be the second time I have replaced this belt, and um, I'll show you what happens to the old belts. Usually, they just um, get a crack in them and it starts to get really bad. Um, so, this is the second time I've noticed it with a big crack in there in the belt, and so I decided to be proactive and change out the belt. So I'm going to take you with me while I swap it out and show you what goes into changing out this belt. Alright, to start off, what we're going to do is take off this cover and get access to the belt. And then I'll show you um, the steps you're going to need to take under there to get the belt off and get it replaced. Um, you just have four screws, one here two, three, and four, and they're all three-eighths inch uh, size screws. So um, I'm just going to take those off real quick and pull the cover off, and we'll, we'll get back to it. Okay, with the cover off, um, this is the belt. I'm going to be replacing this one right here. And let's see if I can show you. There is a big crack in it right there. So, um, in order to take this belt off, you have to take this bolt and this bolt to take this plate off. And then, underneath the mower, you are going to have to <clears throat> turn your mower over and take off the lower belt down there, which is the... Um, drive belt for the transmission so it's this lower belt here so you're gonna have to flip the mower over and take that belt off so I'll take you through doing that right now alright with the mower flipped on its side we're gonna loosen these springs that hold the tension on this transmission and so one is right here so we're just gonna grab onto that I'm gonna let that one go, and then we have another one right here. We're gonna pull that one off, and what that does is kind of loosens the tension on this transmission right here. So what we can do is we'll reach your hand in there. just finesse the belt off so this is the small belt and then let's see if we can get some light in here you have to take that off of this lower pulley here so that way when you take this belt off up here you have to come all the way under this pulley here and then pull it out through the front so Let's go back over to the front and loosen up that bracket, and then we can get this belt that we're looking to replace off. All right, so we flip the mower back over, and we're going to take off this bracket here, and it uses the same 3 8 inch size bolts that uh, the cover used. So there's one on that side, and then we got one here. So, just take this off, and then we can take our belt, and we will finesse it over the pulley, and then we're going to work it out from the underside of the deck. So, I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll show you both of the belts side by side. Alright, here's the new belt, and here's the old belt, and basically you can see that this these belts don't last very long uh, for some reason. Uh, I mean, I've got a probably um, to be honest I'm not sure how many hours probably 60 hours 60 hours or so but you can see this big crack in the belt there um, and then as you can see the belt is pulling apart in a lot of places let's see 
<clears throat> Here's the other side. And so it's coming apart a little bit there and some there. So we're going to try out this new belt. Um, the belt number is... I think that says 0221-336, but um, it has a list of the first numbers are 0221, but then the last ones are all different. Um, so this is more likely the number for the belt 121-5765. Uh, that kind of sounds like a total part number. So basically all you have to do is put that belt back on through the pulleys and um, I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll show you once it's done. Alright, so there's this little gold bracket in here um, that I was trying to avoid taking off because it's not very easy to get a wrench down in there. And um, so I can't get the, what I did, the old belt slid right in between the pulley and that bracket but with the new one I'm gonna have to take it off because it's a little more stiff um, so you may or may not have to take that off but if you just want to go ahead and do it anyways you can do that but I'm gonna take that off put the belt on and then put that bracket back on and then we'll go back around to the front Alright, so what I did was just loosen the gold bracket. I didn't take it off all the way because all I needed to do was pinch it in between the gold bracket and the pulley. And then you pull some slack through, pull it around the lower pulley, and then slide it on. And then while you have the mower set like this, we're going to um, get under there and put the transmission belt back on. So, you know, while it's out. You can take it and inspect it, make sure everything's okay. Um, I've never had to replace this one, um, but uh, it seems like it's in pretty good shape. And uh, the part number for this is going to be 9470. So, we're just going to stick the, this one back on to the front pulley, and then on to the rear pulley. Let's see, Let's put it on the rear one, and usually when I'm sticking these pulleys on, see if I can get you in there, usually just slide it onto the pulley, and then... Turn the pulley if you can, and that kind of just pops it on there because they're a little snug. And then we're going to put this spring back on and that spring back onto here, and then we're going to flip the mower back over. All right, so we're back up top. We got the belt on under there, so now we're going to slide it onto this pulley. And so, what I'm going to do is kind of do the same process I was telling you about under there, kind of put the belt on. And then do your best to, you know, turn these pulleys. And that kind of snugs it on there. So this one, when you pull the cable for the blades, this pulls over, tightens down on this to turn these pulleys so we're not replacing this belt replacing this one which is like kind of the start stop belt so maybe that's why it gets a little more wear but after you get that on there <coughs> we're gonna put our bracket back on and so
threading that bolt. And that bolt, okay. We're gonna snug them down. It's not exactly easy to get to this one, but um, yeah, we got it on. And uh, so after you get it on, you just want to take it outside and test it out, make sure it works. And um, then you're going to come back inside and you're take your cover. Slide that back on. So... here and then we will line this up over here okay and then we should be able to Should be good to go so if you like this video um, like it and consider subscribing because I do have more videos on the time master which I'll put in the description and you can check those out thanks